What's up everybody, Jason here. On this channel I do backpacking tips, trips, and gear reviews, so if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're not new to the channel, thank you for your continued support, because without you guys this channel wouldn't be growing like it is. So let's get into the video. Alright you guys, in today's video we're going to be checking out a Cuban Fiber pack liner from a company called Wolf Mountain Gear. It's a company that I seen on Facebook as I was just kind of scrolling through and I, he had some stuff posted on one of the, I think the ultralight backpacking site and he was, uh, he had some stuff sacks that he had made. So I messaged him and asked him if he could make me a Cuban Fiber pack liner and he asked me if I knew the dimensions of the pack and I told him I didn't so he asked me what kind of pack I had so I told him I had the ULA CDT 50 liter pack and he goes looks the stuff up for me makes a drawing with the dimensions and sends it to me and asks me you know what I think about it and I really liked it the dimensions of it are 34 inches tall 12 inches wide and it has the cam locks at the top rather than the velcro which I do like about it uh, I'll bring it up here and let you guys take a look at it. I'll show you uh, like the stitching and that's one thing he does take real good care with these packs. The stitching is great. He tapes all the seams and he even checks them with water and stuff to make sure that they're watertight. For the longest time I had been using you know like trash compactor bags as a way of you know keeping my stuff dry. I used to use a pack line or a sorry a pack cover which worked out good, but I just hated getting it out and putting it on and stuff like that. I thought about, you know, either a Cuban fiber pack, which is crazy expensive it seems. And so that's when I thought about, you know, the Cuban fiber pack liner. And so he made it and shipped it to me and I'll bring it up and show it to you guys. All right, you guys, here is the Cuban fiber pack liner that I had made from Wolf Mountain Gear. Like I said, it is 34 inches tall and then 12 inches wide. On most pack liners they use the velcro closure at the top. He prefers the cam lock which I wasn't sure at first but I kind of like it now and then it also has the little clips here. Roll it down and clip it. You'll take a look at the seams. Great job. Look down here. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but he tapes it on the inside and the outside, you know, after stitching. All the way around to create a watertight seal. So one way of testing this out, we'll uh, get a weight. I'll compare this to my old uh, Osprey pack cover and get you guys a weight so you can see how it compares. And then we'll put something in here and I'll just hose it down with water, see if it stays dry. And then after that, we'll fill it up with water and see if it leaks. Let's try it out. All right, you guys, first up will be the Osprey pack cover. We are at three and seven eighths of an ounce or 111 grams. For the Cuban fiber pack liner we are at two ounces or 56 grams so pretty much half the weight and also one thing to keep in mind is you don't have to dig this out of your pack to put on when it rains your stuff's automatically protected all right you guys i was trying to find something to put in the sack that if it got wet it would show so i just grabbed a roll of toilet paper that'll have to work um, as you guys might know today is my first day of vacation and today was a prime example of why I usually don't take days off. 
I woke up first thing this morning with the dogs running in the house. Two of the three dogs had got nailed by a skunk, so they decided to rub all over the floor and the couch and our bed. So needless to say, six o'clock in the morning I was washing dogs and then had to clean the carpet, the couch, we had to take stuff to the laundromat to wash. And it still smells like skunk out here, so this is just a prime example of why I tend to just go to work and I don't take days off. But it is what it is. So we will take the toilet paper and stick in here. better shot I think it's safe to say that that's probably more rain than what your pack will get right away. Let's see if she's dry inside. perfectly dry. So now we'll fill the sack up and see if it holds water. Kept everything inside dry, and when I put water in it, it held water. So I'd say that's pretty successful. That's going to do exactly what I need it to do. I'm just looking for this to keep my stuff inside my pack dry, and I think it's going to accomplish uh, what I bought it for. So if you guys are interested in having something custom made or just checking him out, I'll put a link down in the description. And 
and you guys can check him out for yourself real great guy so hope you guys enjoyed the video till next time hope to see you guys on trail